the um, hippopotamus, apparently, while it's pooping, it actually pees on its own butthole and wipes back and forth with its tail. So it actually, while it's pooping, it pees. It actually goes like this with its um, trunk, and it pees right on its butthole while the tail is wiping. So it's uh, pretty sanitary, actually. What do you call those things? Are they called the bidet? Hippopotamuses. Yeah, bidet, I guess. Yeah, so he's got his own private bidet yeah, one of those built Euro- in yeah. his body. A European toilet. Yeah, and, you know, nobody taught him that. So, you know, it just must be innate for those animals. It's like... Yeah. And, and you know what's interesting for them to do that? That means they don't like it. You know, it's an inconvenience. That's how they learn to do those things, to yeah. fight the inconvenience. So they they must... Because there's a lot of animals who poop and, you know, like cows and horses, they all have this really messy pooping system. But they haven't uh, developed a system to to fix it. Yeah, but hippopotamuses are known to, you know, wallow in like mud and everything. Yeah, but they are in the water. They're creatures of water. So it gets cleaned regardless. Cows and horses don't do that. Yeah, but they clean, they, they fool around in like really dirty water. I like watermelons. Yeah, every I think everything likes melons. But these things actually they 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 just they they get real filthy. They're vicious. Yeah. Yeah, that's an interesting system they have devised. Yeah. This is like jam packed of animal facts. 